What's up, though? It's Samson right here. So I wanted to talk about this conspiracy around this young rapper's death. And I remember first hearing about him and was kind of confused because, you know, the new rappers nowadays, I don't even know half of their names. You know what I'm saying? Like, their names be crazy. And this dude, little name was crazy. And I was like, who is this dude? And um, my daughter and I was talking about him one time and she said to me, you know, Sansa Ray, this, you know, boy is not as bad as you think. And she started sending me links to his motivational speak speeches and him doing charity and all of this positive stuff. And she showed me this like three or four months ago. And I was just impressed by the kid. I was like, wow, you know, he, he at least he's trying to do something positive. And I remember there was a story out there. They was talking about how his uh, he had beat his girlfriend and they had like some. I don't know if this is the same boy that had the footage in like, I, I think they were like in a hotel hallway and they had footage of him like grabbing on some girl that he was dating. I don't know if that was him. So don't quote me on that. But they were saying that, um, he had beat his pregnant girlfriend and he had an issue with homosexuals and all this negative stuff about him. But no one was spreading around the fact that he had done all of these motivational speeches and he had done all of these charities and all of the positive stuff that he had done for the youth. The only person that was showing me that stuff was my daughter. Right. So I was like, and she's 18. So I was like, wow. Okay. And so forget the way that he looked because he looks just crazy. I mean, of course, with the dreads and, and you know, just crazy. He got the tree on the forehead. I was like, what is this boy doing with his life? Get your life, boy. And so when he passed away just recently, because uh, apparently someone had um, shot him while he was at a motorsports store. And uh, just recently, a witness came up and spoke up and a suspect has been arrested for his murder. So, um, since his murder, I've seen a lot of people talk about this kid. Like they were just saying all of this negative stuff about him and people were celebrating his death and they was just all happy. And I was so disgusted to see this in my timeline. So I posted on my uh, YouTube, like, and not my YouTube. <laughs> I, oh, no, I did. I did post it on my YouTube community tab. I posted on my YouTube community tab. And I said the same thing that I said on Facebook. I said it's disgusting that I'm seeing so many people talk the way that they're talking about mortality. Like this boy was somebody's father. He was somebody's son. He was somebody's relative. Regardless to whether he liked homosexuals or not or he beat his pregnant girlfriend. Ain't none of us pregnant. You ain't no saint. I mean, ain't none of us um, perfect. You ain't no saint. So for you to go out here and, you know, just make it seem like he should die because of, you know, the mistakes that he made. It doesn't make any sense to me. People just erase the fact that he had did all of this positive stuff or they have no idea that he did all of this positive stuff. And the boy was only 20 years old. Like, why are people feeling so comfortable with saying shit like he deserved to die? He was 20 years old. He was a kid. He had so much stuff to learn just like the rest of us. I mean, I know it's people my age that ain't learned half the stuff this boy done learned. You know, and all of us have some shit that, that we need to be working on. So it just really disturbed me to see so many people just celebrate this little boy life. And so then they start talking about, well, he spoke about his death and his lyrics and blah, blah, blah. And, and that's why he deserved to die. That's what he get. He spoke his death into existence. And I'm thinking to myself. Biggie and Tupac did the same shit, but did the masses celebrate Biggie and Tupac's death? No, they didn't have some type of delight and Tupac was actually put in jail for raping a woman. And, and here we are chastising this boy for beating his pregnant girlfriend when Tupac went to jail for raping a woman. Tupac spoke about his death. Biggie spoke about his death. No one was celebrating. No one thought that that's what he'd get. You know, people with the masses were really, really upset. You know, so of course you had those one or two trolls out there or those hateful people that was like, ha ha, Biggie and Tupac dead. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Suge Knight. 
or Puff Daddy was like, thank God. You know, you never know. But as far as the masses go, nobody was celebrating. Since when did it become okay in this world for people to celebrate death, especially death of a young person? And don't get me started on the fact that this young person is black and the person that shot him is black. That's so stupid to me because these ignorant little kids, these boys, even some grown black men will go out here, all right, and kill someone of their own race, but will not bust a grape in a damn fruit fight when it comes to fighting against people who have openly said they feel delight about killing a black person or have actually killed a black person. Like, for example, you, you mean to tell me this boy was in Florida at a motorsports store and got killed, but George Zimmerman, kid killing ass, is walking around just easy. Like, how is, how is George Zimmerman still even alive if it's any black people, any black people, gangsters okay in florida but somehow this boy decides to you know be just looking for a motorcycle one day minding his own business and someone shoots him just to rob him now that's another thing i don't get you don't have to kill somebody to rob them if you don't want them to see your face or to know it's you put on a mask i mean jesus christ I just don't understand what's going on in the minds of black people. Like sometimes I just be like, does any of this make sense? And, and the way that the world is built nowadays is like, oh my God. Like, please don't let my son fall victim to this nonsense. It's bad enough I can't understand half of the mumble rap. On Matter of fact, all of the mumble rap, I don't know what they say a majority of the time. Hell, I didn't even know what this rapper was saying a majority of the time. But I do know that that kid didn't deserve to die. And so to see people say this is ridiculous to me. And don't even get me started on this whole conspiracy thing of him not really being dead. Like I've been hearing that too. Oh, he's not really dead. He's faking his death. You know, he, he didn't really die. Now here's the thing. I think people in, in or the media kind of confused it because when, um, when he first got killed, like not when he first got killed, when he, <laughs> when he first got killed, when he first got shot, people don't know that he didn't die instantly. I think he got shot in the neck. He died at the hospital. He didn't die instantly. So I guess people were like, oh, is he dead or is he not dead? Is he dead? Is he not dead? You know? Oh, and just recently I seen at his memorial, I seen a fight break out at a memorial. People fighting at funerals now. People shooting up churches now. I just don't. I just, what's the matter with the world? I'm starting to feel like there's some type of, I don't know, detachment. Like people aren't, people aren't, they're losing empathy and sympathy and compassion for other human beings. Like where did all of this stuff go? How come no one has any type of sympathy, respect for each other? It's, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had to swallow. <laughs> they don't have any respect for mortality or birth or death or anything like that. It's, it's just sad to me and it's unfortunate but i just want to know what you think about this this um topic the the many things that i spoke about inside of this video i want to know what you think in the comment section below i'm about to go in here and, and eat my pizza i just got to grab some pizza and i'm about to go in here and eat it but let me know what you think about this situation i appreciate any thoughts you have anytime you give me your thoughts it gives me like more content like it gives, it makes me think more. So it creates, you know, it, it builds something creative in my mind. So I appreciate you coming in the comment section, bringing something intellectual to it. Okay. Have vision and stay focused. Namaste.